Welcome back to Four Faces. We're going to jump back on that pony about those layoffs because right now things don't still look good for us. But right now, one good thing I will say is that there's no really big news or big information pertaining to any types of layoff. That's in the private sector and in the governmental sector. We're talking about all states within the United States of America. With that being said, however, we do want to talk about what you can do if you're later on in life and you've just been laid off. Well, if you're running like 62 years old and older, this message is just for you. Yeah, it's just for you. So I do want to say before we move forward, even though this video is kind of tailored to those who are 60, 62 years and older, don't walk away from this video. Keep this information, put it in your pocket, and share it with your aunties, your mother, your grandparents. You know, keep in mind, you know, that there are a lot of people that decided to continue working at an older age. And despite the fact that a lot of them could retire, and some companies allow you to retire at 55. And the problem I'm getting is that when the pandemic came around, right, a lot of people left and retired. But then what happened was prices started to go up. Things started to increase. And a lot of people was looking at their income and said, man, this is just not enough. So what they do, they went back to work. Unfortunately, a lot of elderly people decided to go back to work. Why? Because it's too costly, it's too expensive. You know what I'm talking about out there. So let's get into some of the details. So there are some catch-22s to Social Security. Now, a lot of people don't talk about this, but guess what? I'm going to talk about it right now. If you come from another country, and let's just say, or you start late in life to work, but most of the time this happens when you come from another country, and you come to the United States of America, and you get United States citizenship. Here's something you need to know. If you worked for less than 10 years, you're probably not going to collect Social Security. This is crazy. I know, I know. Well, and by the way, you can go to ssa.gov, which is uh, Social Security Administration, and you can check it out for yourself to see that I'm right. So here's how it works. You need at least 40 credits in order to collect Social Security. See, I like to keep things simple. So what they mean by the 40 credits is basically comes down to four credits per year. Doesn't matter what type of job you have, no matter, you know, high pay, low pay is irrelevant. The point is that they have to collect Social Security from you for at least minimum four years. Why? Once again, it's four credits per year. You got the point. It's crazy. So if you come from another country and you got less than 10 years of money being collected towards Social Security, you might be in for a problem or should I say a rude awakening. So keep that in mind. So if you're 62 and you fall in that situation, you're going to probably have to work a little bit more Unfortunately, you're going to have to work a little bit more. Now, if you got laid off, how would that work out for you? Well, it looks like you're going to have to get another job. That's really comes down to or start a business, something, some type of entity that going to, you know, collect some, some type of Social Security. And also keep in mind that if you do fall into that category, you still, even after 10 years, unless you made a lot of money, you're probably not going to be collecting that much anyway. Because what Social Security does, they take the best of the 35 years. <laughs> yeah, let me just give you that number again. 30, the best of 35, which means you don't have to work 35 years. The point is that within those 35 years, if you work that amount of time, or less, it could be less than that, but that's the number, that's the magic number that they use to evaluate how much Social Security you're going to get. And I'll leave the chart up so you can see how those numbers work out for you. So that's an that's a option for people out there. I mean, it's not probably the best. I mean, so, Social Security is really planned to only give you to make up a certain percentage of your total gross income. It really is not for you to live off by itself. And unfortunately, a lot of Americans live you know, day to day based on that Social Security because maybe their pension wasn't right. Maybe the company didn't offer pension. Maybe... I mean, it could be many factors. Maybe you had a, a certain type of account where they were supposed to put one to one in. You put one, the company put one in, you know, like basically towards a pension plan. Companies used to do that, put a one to one ratio in there, but uh, a lot of companies stopped doing that. So you had to pretty much, some of these private entities, you had to set up your own pension. And um, some people couldn't really afford to put money in towards a pension. So unfortunately, that is the way that works. Now, there's something else that you need to know. And I just put some notes here, all this paperwork thrown through my desk, and I just want to talk about it, is that um, here's another catch-22. 
And this one is kind of interesting. And what the social security site says, go to, go, like I said, go to ssa.gov and you could check this out for yourself. And um, just don't skip no paragraphs, right? A lot of times people just want to go to something that sounds good, but you got to go into the details. So here's another thing you need to know. Now, some of us, you know, may not me because I'm not at the age now to, um, to collect social security, but those of us who are at the age to collect social security, you got to keep in mind this as well. Now, if you retire at 62, we all should know by now. We all should be doing our research. We all should know that you're not going to collect the full Social Security benefits. Now, there's a huge reduction in that, and I'm going to show that on the chart. I mean, it's like almost, I believe, like 30% reduction if you do not go to the full retirement age, by the way, which is 67. So if you don't go to that full retirement age, you're not even going to get the full benefit. I mean, you're going to lose a quite a few, a couple hundreds of dollars. I mean, not like hundred, hundreds, plural. I mean, that could be a big difference from, you know, how your standard of living is. So just keep that in mind as well. Like I said, the chart is right there. Take a look at that. There's another thing I need to, you need to know as well is that some of us, work at different jobs, right? Everybody have a job and their pension plan is different and, you know, they have other side gigs that they might be working, maybe two jobs, three jobs, whatever it may be. You got to also keep in mind is this. If you're working at a job and they give you retirement at 55 or 57, you got to keep in mind this, that if you stop working, there are a bunch of zeros placed in there until you get to 62, which is, like I said before, is the minimum age you collect Social Security. So what happens is that might reduce the amount of uh, Social Security that you're going to collect or potentially can collect. You can collect. So just keep that in mind when you do decide to retire at 55, 57. And to be honest with you, if you're retiring at that age, 55, you know, less than 62, I should say, um, if you're blessed and you're fortunate, I should say, then just make sure that you got enough money in your pension that will make up that difference. All right. So is that it? Well, here in Four Faces, unfortunately, I'm going to say that is not it. And by the way, if you want us to do a lot more information, provide more research into Social Security, we're more than willing to do that. Just leave a comment below. But here's something else you need to know. Now, this is not a political statement. This is just facts. And you can go check it out yourself. Just because you collect Social Security doesn't mean that that doesn't get taxed. In certain states, it gets taxed. However, I do want to let you know that federal government, if you make a certain amount of income, of course, on the federal level, they will tax your Social Security. Wow, ain't that crazy? Don't think about it. Here you are working all these years, and they're going to actually tax my Social Security money that I put into it? Answer is yes. They're going to tax that money. On the federal level, if you make a certain amount of money, they will tax that. Um, but guess what? In addition to that, like I just said, your state, some states, will also tax your social security benefits. Imagine that. So I say this to say, and by the way, this is Republican states and Democrat states. So I don't want to hear this, oh, this, this only happens in Democrat states or Republican states. This is why, uh, just a side note, this is why when you vote, you vote for who's in your best interest, not for someone who's going to be against the grain. Because think about it. If you're getting ready to retire or you're retiring now and you're in one of these 11 states, I'll show that also here, what's going to happen is that you got to pay tax on your Social Security benefit. What type of nonsense is that? Imagine that. So now I do want to put a little cliff note in there, and that note states that even though they do tax, some states do have some exemptions. I do want to make that one be fair by it. However, there are all these other states that will not tax your social, social security benefits. And I think that's where we should be at. Because if you're retiring, you're already at an age where you, you're probably like, oh, I can't work no more. Maybe you have some medical issues. Maybe you have, you're just tired. You don't want to, you know, hustle and bustle every day. Get on that train, get on that bus, drive an hour and a half, hour and two hours. Maybe you don't like the workers you're working with. Maybe, maybe you despise your supervisor or your boss, and you're like, yo, I'm, I'm tired. I just need, you know, I've been working 20 years, 30 years, 40 years of my life, and I need a little break, right? So it's kind of, I look at that, and I say this to say, it's a little unfair that these states, right, will sit there after you get your Social Security benefit, come around, and by the way, we're going to tax you now on that. That's crazy. 
that's really crazy. Like West Virginia, Kansas, uh, Utah. Some of these, I mean, this is like, why would you do that? Connecticut, that's crazy. So here at Four Faces, we are here for you. I was just here to mention some, some things you can do, right? We talk about Social Security because some of us, you know, might be at an age where we could retire. We, you know, we could retire. You might be 62 or above, and you're like, yo, I'm getting, getting ready to get laid off. Well, I might as well go ahead and collect my Social Security benefits, my pension, and whatever uh, package they give me, and just, you know, call it a day. So, but I do want you to understand that not everybody is in every situation. Things are different for many different people. Your financial status is different. However, I hope that this helps. And this is Four Faces. You know what? We'll talk.